Hey everyone, welcome to episode 1 of the Catalyst 9800-101 series. My name is Justin Liu, a technical marketing engineer with the Enterprise Network Wireless BU. In this series, we'll introduce you to the Cisco Catalyst 9800 wireless controller and show you how to configure it for your wireless deployments. I'll be using the Cisco dCloud Lab over the course of this series, but the steps covered here will apply to your real-world deployments as well. Throughout this series, we'll cover the following day one configurations. How to create a WLAN using the basic design workflow, creating a WLAN using the advanced design workflow, configuring application visibility and QoS policies, as well as local profiling on the device, ICE configuration, as well as how to set up a corporate and guest network, client testing for guest and bring your own device, and finally, how to create a Flex Connect WLAN. If you're interested in any day zero configurations, please see the linked video in the description. In this episode, we'll be going over how to connect our AP to the dCloud 9800 WLC. If you've already connected your AP to the dCloud WLC or are using your own, please skip to episode two of this series where we'll create WLANs using the basic WLAN design workflow. To get started with using the dCloud lab, we'll first need to schedule a session for this lab. So open your browser and go to dcloud.cisco.com and log into your account. Once logged in, you'll be redirected to the catalog page. If not, click on the catalog tab at the top of the page. Afterwards, go to the search bar and search for Cisco Catalyst 9800 Series Wireless Controller Version 1. Once there, click Schedule and choose Single Session. Fill out the required details to schedule your session. For the purposes of the video, I already scheduled mine. Once the session time starts, we'll go to the My Hub tab and then to the session section. Here we'll find the 9800 series wireless controller lab, and then we'll click view to enter the session details. And this will take us to the topology of our lab. We have the mail server, the active directory server, the server that hosts the captive portals, the remote desktop workstation we can connect to, a Cisco ICE, and a 9800 CL. These are all included within the dCloud lab and all you'll need is an endpoint kit or AP. Uh, the supported APs are 802.11ac Wave 1 and Wave 2, as well as any Catalyst 9100 APs. And you'll need to do some special provisioning on them in order to get them to connect to the WLC. And this will be covered later on in the video. And if you'd like to follow along with the written guide, click Resources, and within Documentation, there's a written demo guide. You can use this guide to follow along for all episodes within the series. Now let's go back to the dCloud page and go to Details, and we'll use this to connect to our AnyConnect VPN. So scroll down to the AnyConnect credentials and then copy the host name. Here, now we'll open up AnyConnect. We'll paste this into the IP to connect to, click connect. And next, we'll log in using the credentials shown on the right. Once we're connected successfully, we'll scroll up and then make note of your owner and session ID as this will be used to log into the WLC. Next, we'll scroll down to find the IP addresses of the WLC and copy down the private IP address and we'll paste this to another tab of our browser. This will bring us to the web UI of our 9800 WLC. Using the owner and session ID from the previous page, log into the WLC. Once the Cisco 9800 WLC page loads, let's go to Configuration, Wireless, and then Access Points. Now let's go to the Country section. Check in the selected country list to see if your country is already there. I'm in the US and it's already been selected, but if you don't live in a country that's already been selected, go to the table, find your country code, check the box, and then click Apply. Once that's done, navigate back to the dCloud page. And within the session details window, we'll scroll down to find the public IP address of our WLC. Make note of this because we'll configure the AP to use this IP address to join the controller. So now I've consulted into my AP, which is a Cisco Catalyst 9120. So I'm not a login using the default login, Cisco Cisco with both capital C. The enable password is also Cisco with a capital C. Next, we'll type in the command capwap AP primary base We'll name the WLC dCloud and then put the public IP of the WLC. 
Now the AP will use this IP address to join the WLC. If the AP image does not match the WLC image, it will need to install the same image version that is on the WLC, and this may take some time. So just wait until the AP completely joins the 9800 in the dCloud lab. Once the AP has successfully joined the 9800, back in the home page of the web UI, you can check in the AP that there has indeed been an AP that has joined the 9800. So if you click on this, just verify that this is the AP that you had pointed towards the 9800 controller. And if so, you can now continue on with the rest of the scenarios within the dCloud lab. I'll see you next time for episode two, where we will configure a WLAN using the basic WLAN design flow. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, thank you for watching.